as far back as 2016 did the U.S. Armed Forces remove the control from the White House and gave it to a civilian command. I think the Constitution allows for that in the United States. Ah, to the Americans, please study your Constitution. In case you're wondering how come there is a civilian commander-in-chief of your U.S. Armed Forces, it allows for that. So that happened in 2016. And it says, our current focus as of July 2022. So that's 2016, now we're 2022. They're still there, commanding, yes? Our current focus as of July 2022 is BRICS nations. So that's Brazil, China, uh, let's go here. That's Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa as the BRICS nations, as well as U.S. and Canadian domestic threats. That's publicly stated, you guys. Okay, reading on. Her Royal Majesty Queen Romana is our partner appointed by U.S. Armed Forces Civilian Command. 2017. We are on a global mission on peace and prosperity. One world, one people, and we are known as the White House. 